Have you ever gotten in trouble for something you didn't do? Normally, that's considered an accident. However, this is not the case with plagiarism. What's plagiarism, you ask? Well, plagiarism is when you take another person's work and claim it as your own. There are several examples of plagiarism. Take sharing, for instance. Some don't realize this, but sharing your papers with someone else or copying off someone is considered plagiarism. Plagiarism is also when you take information from a website and pass it off as your own. Also, changing a few words from that information doesn't cut it either. Essentially, any time you take information from a source and you fail to correctly credit the source, you have committed plagiarism. You might be thinking, is there anything that is not plagiarism? Common knowledge, knowledge known by the general public, is not plagiarism. If you correctly cite your sources, that's not plagiarism either, but we'll get to citing later. Now you might wonder, why should you care if you plagiarize? Like you learn in science class, every action has an effect. When you plagiarize, your teacher will see right through your paper and you'll be in deep trouble. When you're caught plagiarizing, you'll automatically fail the assignment and after you do it, if you're lucky. If another account of it occurs, you might fail the class. Let me tell you, no college, business, or person likes to see plagiarism from you. Plagiarism can ruin any plans you have for the future. Don't believe me? Even at some of the greatest universities, students plagiarize their work. At Stanford, a student was caught plagiarizing by his professor. The professor noticed that the student's paper didn't answer the question of the assignment. The student's paper also included information about parts of the book the class never read. Finally, the paper was in a different style than the student wrote in. The student, who didn't confess, was punished with a six-month suspension and 40 hours of community service. If you think plagiarism is only committed by students, you're wrong. Stephen Ambrose, a historian and author, has plagiarized his work on multiple accounts. His book, The Wild Blue, had many parts that were taken from another historian's work, Thomas Childer. Other books Ambrose wrote, including Citizen Soldiers and Nixon, Ruin and Recovery, stole work from other authors. As you can see, anyone can plagiarize. It's unfortunate that so many students still commit that terrible crime. If you think plagiarism has never happened in your school, think again. According to plagiarism.org, a national survey published in Education Week found that 54% of students admitted to plagiarizing from the internet. 74% of students admitted that at least once during the past school year they engaged in serious cheating. Now you know all about plagiarism and its consequences, but would you like to know how to avoid it? One way to avoid plagiarism is to start your research early so you'll have plenty of time to find all the reliable sources you need, and so you won't feel rushed to complete the assignment. No procrastinating. Remember to always use citations in your paper. After every quote and paraphrase, an internal citation is needed. Make sure at the end of your paper to put the external citation or works cited page listing all your sources. This will make sure the authors of your sources are given proper credit and you won't get in trouble. If you don't know what goes into a citation, or what format of citation to use, ask your teacher for help. And remember, don't share your assignments with any of your classmates until it's been turned in and graded. You wouldn't want to give your peers any ideas. Well, I hope you learned that plagiarism is a road to failure. Fail the assignment. Fail the class. Fail the future.